Look at these heartbeats. Does one of them look a little off to you? This is a heart with ventricular fibrillation, which happens when the electrical signals that keep our heartbeat in time become disturbed, muddling the rhythm. Usually, the solution is invasive treatments, like implants, or burning out troublesome parts of the heart. But there's a new idea that might make resetting the heartbeat as simple as switching on a light. It aims to fix irregular heartbeats with flashes of light. That sounds impossible. Where do you even start? Well, the first step is to produce detailed virtual simulations of the heart and use these to study how it might actually work. That's where Natalia Trianova and some recent papers in the Journal of Physiology come in. Basically, we model the electrical function of the heart. Natalia and her team produce virtual models like these. We can play with this model because as a computational model, you can poke and prod it in a very different way um, you cannot do that with a real patient or with, or with a real animal. Sounds like a good place to start investigating new prospective treatments without risking anyone's health. So how do you make them? We generate our computational models of the heart by using typically um, a scan of the heart. Normally MRI scans from patients like this. You can think of our models uh, that are reconstructed from the MRI scans as the scaffolding of the model. It holds our virtual cells in it. And they can give all of these virtual cells certain characteristics, making them represent healthy or diseased cells. They can produce personalised models to help guide doctors' decisions for patients today. But they also let the team look beyond current treatments, into approaches that might revolutionise the way we deal with heart disease tomorrow. Approaches such as optogenetics. Optogenetics is a new method based on making heart cells sensitive to light. In other words, proteins that are light sensitive are embedded in the membranes of cardiac myocytes. That's the heart's muscle cells. Making them respond electrically to light illumination. The idea is to make the heart sensitive to light and then use small pulses of light to steer the heart back to its natural electric rhythm instead of the high impact shocks we currently use. These shocks are very painful, it's like a horse kicking you in the chest and they also have a number of complications associated with them. So in their simulations they tried firing light at various regions of the heart to see if it could rectify the arrhythmia, which is shown here by the chaotic waves of electricity pulsing over the heart and that's the light application, and then we have quiescence. So we were successful in terminating this arrhythmia with the light pulse. Success! But making a heart sensitive to light still sounds like something you could only ever do in a simulation, right? Actually, no. Following from these studies, researchers have managed to achieve it in mice with heart defects. There's still a long way to go before making it work in humans, but it's a start. What excites me about our work is the ability to bring a basic science approach, a heavily engineering approach, computational modeling of the heart, to the clinic. It's a perfect fusion of science and engineering with real-world life-saving application. It is something that has given a new horizon to our work because we can see the real impact of it and that makes all the students, all the clinical fellows that are now in my lab um, be very optimistic and very excited about the prospect of their 